Oh, hey there folks, and welcome back to the Tazar Fight Caves. Now, as I said before, previously, I've been like, trying to figure out a way I can pull off a good strategy for the Fight Caves, and I think I've nailed it. This is basically going to be my somewhat idealistic range tactic, and uh, you know, really high range, you know, I've got the bolts, the... I would say the only thing that would be better than this is probably either the void setup, which I've yet to look into, or the Armado, which is way too expensive, so fuck that. But, yeah, this is pretty good. Also, you may wonder, why have I got a few steel arrows? Well, see this thing here, Eva's Accumulator. This basically allows you to pick up bolts automatically, except for a few. I think it's like one in twenty chance that you it just doesn't work. So either the bolts that do would fall, or the ones that are automatically lost, they you know go out. But it's only like a small few that you know. So basically, I get the majority of the arrows back, so I don't have to worry about picking them up anymore. Plus, there's this regeneration bracelet, which contrary to what I thought. I thought that was going to be doubling the rate of healing. Instead, it doubles the amount you get at 372 seconds. So it's kind of good, kind of not, but it helps in the long run. Plus, there's this imbued archer's ring, which is going to be very handy. So, oh yeah, and another thing. See this book of law? This is actually better than the unholy book, you know, the Zamark one. He, yeah, I thought... Zara was just good for just about everything, and I was wondering why this was second and most expensive, but now I know because it's got a slightly higher, I think it's about two, two points higher than the Zara one, so that's the go-to one for any ranging in that, but, alright, so I am going to be getting ready to get the soil in that. Oh yeah, another thing, uh, yeah. There's this new prayer that were just added today, and I think there's a big update with raids and that, and they've decided to add these new prayers in. Yeah, unfortunately I can only do up to piety, which is already pretty good and that, so that'll do me, but now there's an ideal range and magic one. I would definitely be do putting rigor on if I could, but nah, not quite at the right prayer level yet, so uh well. But anywho, let's get on with it then. After this we'll be back to where we last died, and uh, back... Let me see, well, I was level 105 now, so back maybe about 6 or 7 levels ago. Yep, we're about to do it. And oh damn, am I looking forward to it. Let's see. I'm looking to get to about wave 40, that's ideally what I'm looking for. Let's see. Here we are. This big motherfucker here. He's the fucker who killed every single fucking time. Every single time. And now I can finally kill his dumb ass. And look at that. His magic is doing nothing because I've got protect magic. Oh man. So, I've decided to do things a little bit different, right? You've probably noticed I've got Saradon Brew, Super Restores, Prayer Pots, as well as now. Yeah, full on good food, like instead of monkfish, it's sharks. Yeah, I don't think the sharks will do me good in the long run, and I've not, I've not really had to eat one, and uh, cause my regen's done its job quite nicely. But yeah, probably should have brought more prayer potions, but as long as it gets me to like wave 38 at the very least, then I feel like it's done a good enough job. And that, uh, so, uh, that's quite good. And also I'm using wrath because I feel like I would rather like get out the shots quicker. Uh, normally I would put on accurate to conserve the bolts, but here it's like, eh, hey, fuck it. Yeah, I might as well get all done out of the way. So I've been looking a bit more seriously into the fighting guild, not fighting guild, the uh, fight cave strategies. I've been looking at more seriously now than I ever have before. Uh, all right, he's over here. Uh, Alright, should be a bat coming up, but I'm not sure where the fuck it is. Alright, I'll just take a shot at him. Yeah, you gotta kill these fuckers because they drain your prayer like really quickly. 
Like, I mean, super quickly. Oh, man. You know, so don't get too close to these things because uh, their melee really hurts. Like, I think it'd probably be at least 25, not somewhere around 30. Yeah, and also, this could be arguably said to be the strongest monster I've ever fought. At level 360, which isn't actually that strong. Like, its HP is only about 160, which is kind of weak for a monster of such a high caliber, which, by the way, if you compare it to, like, say, something like the Calphite Queen, which is 27 levels lower than that, it's way tougher. And I just, well, okay, this thing is only this one combat style, and if I can block it, well, it's kind of easy, you know? But, oh, man. So, yeah, I'm looking to get to about wave 40. That would be, like, a huge goal. And, I mean, already I'm accomplishing new territory stuff, but my worry is, once I get to, like, the point where there's this fucker and the Toxel, which does range, then I'm kind of fucked, because then I've got to, like, take the damage from the Toxel whilst contending with his level 360. Oh, shit. Alright, da 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 Alright, so I've got to keep this fucking prayer magic on from here on out. Alright. If uh, this... There we go. No, that came out way too quick. Fuck. Are you fucking kidding me? Dude. Come on. Yeah, you want to hit high for those things, because every hit they do takes away one prayer regardless of whether it actually hits you or not. That is bullshit. And believe me, that adds up, like, the fact that I'm having to, like, use my prayer and all that, it's like, oh, man. Yeah, it's just really crazy and that. So, this is probably going to be a lot more different than, um, what most of my normal strategies would be, you know? I mean, this is pretty good, but, yeah, if you look at it, I could have filled up most of this inventory with prayer potions, but I'm not looking to complete it. Like, if I get to even wave 42, I'll be impressed. Wave 45 beyond, I'll be shocked. And, uh, you know, I will be fucking shocked. But I bet you what will happen, right? Once I get to, like, uh... Once I run out of prayer pots, that'll be me just, like, pff, fucked, basically. Oh, man. Alright, now, something I'll need to keep an eye on is... Alright, so I need to get around this guy. Let's see. Careful not to actually touch the fucking guy. Alright, good. And I can get a bit closer. Alright. I want to do that so I can... I mean, this guy isn't really going to do much damage. This would be much better with the... See the the lava slimes? Tis kicks? And that, they're not really a problem. It's the Tis yorks ones. The, the giant lizard ones. They would fuck my shit up. And that, you know, because... As a ranger, I'm actually weak to melee, as opposed to being kind of like strong against it, or strong-ish. So, yeah, that's something to keep in mind. Oh, man. But, yeah, I'm doing not too bad, and I'm actually killing them. You know, so, that's something. Oh, man. Uh, so, right, I guess we might as well talk about some other things. And, uh... Uh, I'm just thinking there, yeah, RuneScape, it's like, oh man. It's funny to think how much, like, I'm actually in the process of saving up for, uh, yeah, I'm in the middle of the process of saving up for, uh, let me think, yeah, about uh, the Amaro Crossbow, which currently costs about 20 and a half mil at the moment. Really expensive, like before when well, I was it was about seven and a half, so yeah, I'm kind of getting ripped off at the moment, unfortunately. Alright, so I need to ignore that guy again and make sure I no, nah, I got hit by it. Fuck! Alright, so what I'm gonna have to do is walk around this guy. Alright, go up, up, and then around. No, wasn't quite so successful. Shit, so I'm going to have to take the damage that this guy gives me. Uh, let's see. Alright. 
See, the problem is these guys, for level 45, they can do kind of high damage. I thought, okay, at most it's a 4. And they're not going to hit me too often. But no, they can hit up to a 7. Fucking 7. Like, are you kidding me? Oh, alright. Alright, good. That died pretty quickly. Alright. So, yeah. I've been doing plenty of saving up, and uh, I mean, considering how, uh... Pfft, fucking, oh, shit. Alright, let's see. Don't think it's stuck up in here, but I know that this is... Yeah, this place here is called the Italian Rock. Because you see the heel here, right? This is supposed to be a pretty good spot, because of these four, three of these walls you can, like, get them stuck on. Like, both sides here, as well as this one here. So, it's pretty good as far as I'm concerned. And that, so... Uh, not too shabby. Not too shabby indeed. Oh, man. You know, I'm thinking, see these super restores? These also count as prayer pots, but I'm saving them for once I get to, like, uh... Toxels, which I will need the extra defense for. And that. And the reason I want a super restore is because while it's increased your hit points and defense, they reduce your attack and strength, which is kind of pointless, considering, um... Wow, can you not mess fuck off? Oh, man. Yeah, I'm not going to afford getting... Like, I would, I would do it for the Toxels, which would really even hit me anyway, but these fuckers, I can't afford to. So I'll just have to take the hits I get from the weaker Tis Cake. Like that. You know, like, it's just something I can't afford to do. Oh, man. So, you have to wonder, will I ever get to fight the legendary Tiz Tok Jad? The level 720 beast. Maybe. That is a very big maybe. It's definitely not going to happen this time. Probably won't happen the next one after. But maybe my fourth attempt, I will finally get it down. Right now, I'm just trying to experiment and I'm getting gradually better. And, uh, you know, I'm getting there. But obviously, it's still not like perfect. And, uh, you know. But I imagine in due time, I'll eventually get the hang of it. Also, I didn't realise there was a bat stuck behind that. Well, that's convenient. There you go. Shoot down that piece of shit. See, look at that. How, like, I hate it when I hit low, right? You know, especially against the fucking bats. Like, if you're doing, like, two, three hits and that, yeah, any less than two hits, you're guaranteed to get them hit at least once. And that costs you fucking prayer points, by the way. That's why I get pissed off about that shit. It's just, like, the worst. The worst. You know? But, oh, man. Alright, so I just need to run towards wherever this fucker is. Alright. Okay, I am definitely going to try and avoid this one, if I can. I'll take one. Alright. Uh, nope. Okay. I'll just have to take this one slime. Yeah, unfortunately, because my melee defense isn't very high, like, normally these guys would really hit me. But because of the fact I'm lacking melee defense, I just have to take the hits. And uh, I would rather, like, the problem is you can spend, like, a while trying to position yourself around these and that. And I think it's going to be, it's going to get pretty nasty once I get to, like, because with the 180s, the Yiz Jot things, you know, that, no. I have to get them positioned there, like, because otherwise I'll probably dead in like 30 seconds or something. Whereas these guys, I can at least hold off for a little while, you know, so it's all about positioning and that uh, as a ranger. And also keep your prayer up, which I can do for a while. Yeah, I think I will be able to hit 40 and that, uh, you know. Maybe I'm looking, it'd be nice if I got to 42, but I'm not like counting on it. You know, and I'm also not... Normally, I would, like, try and stall every now and then to let it recover, and I could do that, but this would take ages and that, so... You know, I'll do that if, like, I need to get back up to this point. You know, which is not so bad. Not so... Holy shit, it's always running. So, just to test to see, uh... This works, it should. Yep, there we go. 
Alright, and I'll eat my first shark. Alright, and I'll also take another dose of prayer. So, yeah, it's most likely I'm probably going to want to... I probably should have uh, took in the salad brew, if I'm being honest. Yeah, the salad brew would have been quite nice. You know, it's just that's the problem. You're having to take that damage and that, you know. The bats are annoying for a different reason. And that, because they drain your prayer. Like, they can't hit for shit, but they can drain your prayer even if they don't hit. And that, you know, it's just... Oh, man. Uh, so, nah. I'm just going to have to take the punches, unfortunately. Oh, uh, man. The only thing I could do that might save my hide is if I can get one of them up. Like, say if uh, I got one of them to hide over here, that would be brilliant, because then I wouldn't have to suffer the damage. Alright, so see what I'm going to do here. Well, actually, no, it might not even matter. Oh, alright, well, let's see. Yep, here it comes. Alright. So what I'm going to try and do, and this is a... We'll just say it's an experimental phase. I'll fuck off here. See, now this guy's stuck. And now I've lured this guy over. So you see, he's in a position where he can't attack me, magic-wise. There you go. So that's pretty good. And I might actually implement the strategy a bit more. There we go. And I'll put magic back on. There we are. Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. So I'll probably have to, like, I'm going to try and see how well I can get away with this. And that, uh, you know. I mean, it really depends on the positions. You've got to keep that in mind. And they have to be on separate sides, you know. The the Ketzek on one side and the Tokzel on another. If the two of them are right next to each other and they won't budge without moving together as a group, you're kind of fucked. You just have to take the Tokzel out whilst dealing with the Ketzek. And that, uh, so... Yeah, you just have to take it as it goes, I suppose. And that, uh, but, oh man... Alright, let's see. Alright, I'm going to... Now, pay attention here, right? See? Boosts that. Up. Doesn't restore my prayer or anything, but... It does give me a... Super high defense. Like, ridiculously high. And that, so... Now, what I want to do is I want to try and... Uh, Alright, kill that bat first. Alright. Now what I want to do is I want to try and lure. Now I don't think it's going to work. And you'll see here. See? Doesn't work. So now I've got to kill this fucking Toxel. Well I've got this asshat behind me. I mean they don't take too much damage but it's just they can kind of hurt you a bit. You know but look at that. 105. Hey, come on, that's like super high. Yeah, I remember, I think it's just a little bit better than a, a super defense, because yeah, even regular defenses, I can get to about 100 and 1 in that, or 100, it's like really fucking ridiculous, but yeah, it works. Oh, man. Oh, man. You know, I, I was half considering implementing the, there's this one stackable food called uh, Purple Sweets, which you can use and that you know it's a uh, kind of convoluted and that but and it also really expensive like imagine an item right that can heal 1 to 3 hp basically good as a shrimp and oh wait actually wait 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 actually i might be able to pull this off again all right so what i do is i want to Alright, let's see, so I'm wondering, All right. I want this fucker to come over here, alright there we go, 
Now he can't really... Now the other guy can't get to me. Alright, so... Obviously this is just to conserve uh, my health and that. Uh, oh, man. Oh, wow. Alright, I may actually consider take a bit of a break here once I'm done with this uh, Kitzek and that. But yeah, I'm on way 40. That's my goal. So, there's a good chance I could actually get to about way 45, which would be ideal. I would love that, actually, if I could get there. Don't think it'll quite happen, though, but eh, one could dream it. Let's see. And, yep, dead. Oh, no, turn that off. Alright, so uh, I'll just quickly do up the recording here, and yeah. Next time we'll continue, and I guess we'll see the rest of us. And, uh, but, yep, till then, folks.